Today we're going to go through a quick start setup for getting your OS440 online as a Wi-Fi amplifier. To begin with, we're going to go ahead and plug the AC power into our amplifier. As soon as you do, you will notice that the power light gives you a solid green and the Wi-Fi slash Bluetooth LED is yellow. That means the amp is booting. As soon as the amp boots, the Wi-Fi light will begin to flash green. For now, as it boots, we're going to go ahead and install our tri-band Wi-Fi and Bluetooth antennas by screwing them onto the amp, very secure and snug, so that we can get our Wi-Fi and Bluetooth signals. And we're also going to go ahead and wire a speaker in so that we can get sound. So we have these little terminal blocks, and if you can see on the amplifier, we have four channels open for us. Each channel has two speakers that are available for it. So right now, we're just going to wire one speaker to the left output, positive, negative. You have your speaker wires, you connect them in the appropriate terminals, and then you plug the terminal block in. Now that we have our speaker wired, we're going to go ahead and plug it into the amplifier, and you have successfully wired a speaker to this amp. Once we have everything physically connected to the amplifier and the light is flashing green under the Wi-Fi LED, we're going to go ahead and open our Google Home app to set this device up as a Chromecasting device. Google Home will search for any Chromecast devices available on the network. We'll find one. We'll go ahead and tell it to start the setup process. It has found the MSE Audio OS 440, so we're going to go ahead and say yes, we want that to be the device that we hook up. We are now connected. When you hear that tone, that means that it has successfully paired and you're ready to go. You can choose whether to link your Google account to this or not. We're not going to do that for now. We're going to go ahead and name this device just Backyard Speaker. Tell it what Wi-Fi network we're connecting it to. We're connecting it to the first one here. Your home Wi-Fi network would be listed in there if you're doing this at home. Click Next. You might have to put your Wi-Fi password in at this point, depending on the security you have on your network. But for our devices here, we don't have to worry about that. We're just going to go ahead and connect it straight to the network without any security precautions. and we are now connected to the network. At this point, you can go ahead and it tells you what you've done. Just say we're gonna continue. Backyard speaker is ready, and we're done. So at this point, you can either access applications from within Google Home, or you can exit out of Google Home and you don't ever have to come in here again. You can open up whatever your preferred method of streaming music may be, whether it's Spotify, Amazon Music, or the like and you can start casting to your device. So we're going to use Amazon Music and play a song. Go ahead and open your preferred streaming platform. Select whatever track you want to play. And you will see that there is always an option to cast. So when you're playing it normally, it's going to play through whatever your device is. But when you tell it to cast by selecting the appropriate device, which we've called Backyard Speaker. It will then link to that. And you're done.